Hey everyone, my name is Troy from Tech Games Etc. And today I'm going to have a video on how to um, upload uh, HD SD videos faster to YouTube uh, using Pinnacle Studio HD uh, version 15. Now, the system requirements for um, Pinnacle Studio is uh, win uh, Windows 7 or Windows Vista or uh, Windows XP. Um, make sure you also have a fast processor at least two gigahertz or higher uh, because this thing takes a lot of uh, processing power as well now the streams for uh, the streams uh, with uh, Pinnacle Studio HD version 15 is that it's a great software for converting videos which is good uh, that's how you uh, upload videos to YouTube fast you have to convert it to MPEG-4 which this uh, software does now this program will also show you what resolution uh, you're converting to uh, like I said in my other videos you know the secrets to uh, uploading videos faster SD videos HD and SD videos faster to YouTube is that you have to know uh, what resolution you're converting um, into um, and this software will let you know that because if you're recording an SD I mean if you're recording an uh, HD video 1080 you have to convert you have to convert uh, when you convert into MPEG-4 you have to tell the software that you're converting a 1080 to an MPEG-4 if you if you uh, say it that is lower when it's not uh, your quality will come out looking horrible especially for the video um, part now it's also convert uh, it's also compatible uh, with another software that I use uh, MPEG uh, stream clip uh, 1.2 um, while this is good, uh, you can use, after you convert it in uh, Pinnacle Studio HD version 15, you can actually take that compressed file, then put it into um, MPEG Stream Clip 1.2, and you can convert, uh, compress it again. Uh, just convert it right into another MPEG 4, and it uh, takes down the file size, but doesn't hinder the quality at all. Now, the video you're watching now is actually going to be compressed twice using Pinnacle Studio and uh, MPEG Stream Clip. So you can just go ahead and change the resolution at the uh, bottom uh, to uh, 1080 and it's going to work fine. Just keep in mind that when you uh, change the resolution, just let it load for a couple of uh, minutes uh, to get you a good length, then start over again um, and it works just as good as it works great actually now the flaws of this uh, the flaws of this program is the price I say price because this is not a free uh, program it actually costs sixty dollars um, on the market I found it for 45 on sale uh, so keep that in mind um, this program um, when you use it will duplicate your movies uh, what that mean by that? It's gonna duplicate it. Uh, it's gonna duplicate like your movies and uh, whatever uh, format they are. Uh, they're gonna convert. Uh, they're gonna actually duplicate it with. Uh, it's gonna. It's like an XML document, a COX2 file, a SCN file, and or a, a index file. Um, I did a video about this. I did a video review about uh, Pinnacle Studio HD that explained um, how to get around this, what you can do uh, to try to prevent a little bit of this. Um, they're just duplicate files for no apparent reason. You can't even play them. Um, so you have to delete them every time you use Pinnacle Studio and also when you make a movie in Pinnacle Studio. But you can go ahead and watch my uh, Pinnacle Studio HD version 15 review. And at uh, 1 minute and 55 seconds, I show you how to, you know, get around that, how to prevent that, how to, you know, erase them from your hard drive effectively and everything like that. Now, SD video, standard definition video can also be uh, converted to MPEG-4, especially if you're using like uh, S video cable. I use S video cable to record my um, my uh, video game footage, and um, it's different from composite. Instead of you, you use the yellow, the red, and white cables, but you also use this uh, S video part of those cables, which is like a better definition, standard definition. And you can also use uh, Pinnacle to 
You can also use Pinnacle to compress that file as well to MPEG4. It'll make it a, fi a smaller file. And if uh, you need any, um, if you need a good example, I did a video on uh, Payday the Heist for PS3. It's called Payday the Heist Preview Commentary. And I did that using S Video. And I also did that compressing it twice uh, with Pinnacle Studio HD and uh, MPEG Stream Clip 1.2. Now, uh, if you want any uh, other uh, video converting software or try out any video converting software, uh, there is a site called um, cnet.com slash downloads. Now, with cnet.com slash downloads, this is a legitimate site, 100% genuine. Um, this site is free of viruses and malware, so your computer will not be affected at all. Um, they actually scan these uh, uh uh, programs as well because uh, CNET does like uh, product reviews you know they do articles and things like that but they have a section where you can try out software um, for free sometimes it's free sometimes it's a trial period sometimes you have to pay for it uh, but all in all is really good and uh, one thing good about this site is is that you don't have to con uh, register uh, to start downloading you can just go ahead to the search box on this site and put in video converter and you can go by web uh, you can go by either uh, Mac OS or Windows 7 uh, things like that so let me go ahead and show you a quick uh, a portion of how to convert using uh, Pinnacle Studio HD give me one moment okay uh, now when you have your Pinnacle Studio uh, HD version 15 open and you want to create a movie all you have to do is go over here go over here and uh, drag down your movie to the bottom you know after you're done editing and everything let's say for example uh, we're done editing and stuff I'm just gonna drag the movie down here and so the movie is completed right you see at the bottom right here it's completed let's say for example we completed it now when you go over to when you go over to make movie let's go over there you click that now you're gonna open this box where it says file type most of the time sometimes it'll be on AVI you have to open the box and go down to MPEG 4 and you click that now when do you go go down to preset and remember remember the resolution you recorded in we were I recorded this video in 1080p so you it'll say HD 1080p and when I select that it's going to show my resolution this is very crucial this is what they're going to convert it in. You always have to keep the resolution, the same resolution you recorded in. And so we're going to go ahead and press that. Now, since we have that pressed, you don't have to do anything else. And um, all you have to do is press, go down to create file. Right there, create file. For right now, I'm not going to change the title. Let's just call it Movie 3. Let's just keep the uh, default name. And you're going to press Save. Now, when you press Save, it's going to start converting right there. You see that? Make Movie in pro pro uh, Progress. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind with MPEG 4, it's going to take longer than normal... Um, uh, normal uh, video processing, especially when you do MPEG-4, it's just something I noticed, so just keep that in mind. Um, and so there you have it. Once the video is done, you can play it, and it's perfectly fine. So there you go. There you have it. Uh, that's going to be uh, it. If you have any questions, comments, any concerns, uh, you can contact me. Um, through the comment section of this video and it'll get straight to, shot straight to my inbox 
or you can just contact me at techgamesetc at gmail.com or you can contact me on that PlayStation Network at Asian underscore boy underscore 100. And if you like what you saw today, um, please uh, favor this video. Give it a thumbs up. It helps out a lot. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.